So the first step is to position your open toe foot and pull up your thread. And I'm actually positioning this not right on the corner of the heart, that kind of dip in part of the heart. I'm positioning actually just a far, little bit further in. And you couldn't really see that in the video, but um, it really helps to kind of cross over your stitching when you're coming back into the heart on the other side. But you can see right now I am just rotating this heart around and I'm wearing gloves and this really helps me keep a good amount of control over rotating the whole quilt in this corner around. And you want to keep it very, very smooth and fluid because the jerkier it is, then of course the jerky movement is going to uh, also be stitched into your quilt. When I do rotate and move something around like you just saw me move the quilt right there, I do position my needle on the right side of the applique, so in the area that's stitched off the edge of the applique. And I do this because whenever you are stitching along the edge and you slightly rotate, your lines will slightly cross one another. And if you were to stitch and leave your needle uh, on the inside of that line, well then your stitches would actually kind of slightly separate and there would be some gaps. And you wouldn't want that. In a satin stitch we really are going for a very smooth, very polished, very finished look. Now I'm coming down here towards the tip of the heart shape and this is one tricky area. So I'm going to position my needle right at the tip and then I'm going to rotate the whole quilt around. You can see I'm just simply shifting that whole thing around and getting the threads, loose threads out of my way. Now I am dialing down my stitch width so that the width of my stitch is only about one millimeter. And so I take about three stitches right here about three stitches at one millimeter, then I increase the width to 1.5, take a couple more stitches, then I increase it to two, take a couple more stitches, and then my standard width is 2.2. And so once I get back to my standard width, then I can continue going. And I find that this is the best way to get a nice transition across that tap so that it looks like you've gone from really skinny stitches to really wide stitches. And it really works. It really works to make the tip look very nicely finished in satin stitching. Now you can see from this vantage point the starting point I was talking about, just a little bit in on that V shape of the heart. So now I'm going to come in and just simply overlap those starting stitches just a bit and come to a point and that will finish off the heart shape completely. Of course the next step is to pull your threads to the back of the quilt, tie them in knots, and then clip them off. You want to make sure to secure them before moving on to quilt your quilt. You also want to pull off any extra stabilizer from the back of your quilt. I'm pulling off this uh, water soluble paper stabilizer, but I'm going to leave it in the areas where the hearts are because this stabilizer is actually going to wash out and water. It's not going to be stiff once it gets wet. And that little extra bit of fiber will add a nice bit of interest to my heart shapes and the finished quilt. So here's what it looks like when you satin stitch a heart. 